Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here and welcome to another episode of Victoria 3 where absolutely nothing's gonna happen. And we're gonna start a Conquer State play against the Netherlands. <laughs> this seems probably doomed, but let's see what can happen. They do have uh, some extra um, people they can, uh, you know, they've, they've got um, conscripts and things they can bring in. Uh, we could potentially bring in the Kingdom of France, potentially bring in Prussia. That wouldn't be a bad thing at all, would it? All right, let's let's mobilize our armies now. And there are, in theory, multiple fronts, but we're going to send everyone for sure to the Wallonian Holland front over here. We want to march through their homeland and not really care about the others. What? I don't want a bunch of infamy. I don't want to give up Botswana either. Oh my... Game. You ass butt. This is... Mm, we can't We can't afford it right now. Oh, game, why you gotta... I'm sorry. How much? <laughs> I knew we'd be paying through the nose for our military, but I wasn't expecting quite that much. All right, you know what? We're gonna raise some taxes. To help pay for the war. Still gonna be a huge deficit. Woo! Alright. Mexico sided with the Netherlands. Well, that's just rude. Um. You wanna take a treaty port in Eastern Guinea. You know what? That's fine, France. Whatever you want. And we're gonna give up some land in. Africa. Um, which one of these? Can I see the population from here? 2 million, 1.1, 3 million. There you go. North Cameroon only has 94,000 people. Oh, you're not, you don't want that one. You want, I'm sorry, you want Wallonia? Oh, never mind. That's not going to work out. Sweden, we have an alliance. So you need to come in. Okay. Uh, Spain? You want South Cameroon. If it's 1.4 million people. I don't think so. Alright, but we did bring France in. And France is kind of a big boy. Now, if we don't bankrupt ourselves, this might be okay. Got the construction going there. That's fine. We can go down to 129 million in debt. This could damage his relations. Well, so be it. Actually might drop below infamous in the not too distant future. Um, oh, do what do we want to do anything with our navy? Uh, mostly I'm worried about our navy getting booped. But I suppose we could deploy you to the North Sea. Just with escort convoys. Just try to keep my convoys alive. Okay. Well, ammunition's a little pricey. We'll deal with it. Mexico has declared Belgium as their rival. They're really taking this war personally. Okay. It is definitely going to kick off here. We've got a slight theoretical advantage on the front, although attacking is never an ideal thing. Okay, war with the Netherlands has broken out. So let's take a look at this front over here. We immediately have an active battle that France started. And they're going to get pushed back. But if this can wear down the Dutch, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the universe. That might be the thing, like... France is going to have, like, a numbers advantage in a number of different ways. Population, all these sides of things. Oh, there we go. Second front has opened up. Us attacking, being defended by Mexico. Is there a big numbers difference? There is. Because our offensive strength is so much higher. I was going to say, we should be booping a lot more of their people. Um, and that is the case. We're going to get pushed back here. But we are going to overall do more damage to them. Not enough, quickly enough 
to be able to um, turn the tide though. But a two to one ratio of casualties is something, assuming I was reading that right. So yeah, both France and ourselves get pushed back. How's the casualties in this battle? Yeah, see France did lose a lot more dudes. But yeah, we've got some good quality troops. Actually, the ratio is getting better than two to one. We're at two and a half to one now. Still not enough to break through, but... Okay, then we're starting another push here. Again versus Mexico. Again, we're killing so many more of their guys than we're losing. And this time the ratio is actually sick. It's not going to go up enough to lower their numbers enough to turn the, the tide here. But, I mean, is it possible that we can eventually break through this way? There's so many defenders. Again, France has got the, the stronger offensive numbers. Oh, there we go. France against a small Mexican troop. Not actually a big um, statistical advantage, but now the numbers are in the, their favor. It'll be interesting. The big thing is going to be reinforcements. It's really going to be a battle of reinforcements and attritional longevity. Oh, our deficit sank a ton. Wow, look at this. Like, the numbers advance. I'm sorry, are we winning this one? It says they have 145 battalions. Oh, look at this. Okay, so that we have 63 battalions versus their 145, but the actual number of soldiers is relatively similar. They are not reinforcing all their battalions. They're taking losses that I don't think they can recoup. And so now, even with fewer soldiers, but it's a massive statistical advantage we're pushing back over here and you know still dealing a lot of casualties sea lane strategies i don't think this is going to change anything for the war currently okay yeah there's only the one battle currently and it's the one we're winning okay france is opening another one there we go oh, again see very similar battalion counts except that um the netherlands here did not have as many troops in their battalions and France has a slight numerical advantage. So our offense number is quite clear. We have a big tech boost, even above France. And that's what we're kind of counting on. Has anything become stripey? No, not yet, but the push is happening. Now there were friends who we weren't defending. There might be some stuff going on in Africa or something, but I don't think any of that matters. Like if we can take the Netherlands itself, we're going to be in a great place here. Um, and of course our presses is going to be this, and I guess I'll include the, um, the Eastern Guinea port. What's nice about this is France shouldn't just GG because they have no skin in the game. They actually have something that they could get. And therefore I'm hoping they're more likely to want to stay in. There we go. We're pushing here against the Netherlands as well. Again, they showed up with more divisions. Look at the start of the battle. Okay. At the start of the battle, they even have more troops. 80k troops worth is our 56, but more than double our division count. But now they're falling apart. They still have more troops, but they're falling apart, possibly because the divisions are all individually so weak. Oh, baby, baby. It's working. It's working. That's military goods. Automobile is a bit expensive. That's fine. We do use them for our scouting. And our deficit is shrinking, too, which I'm very happy about. Maybe we, we had to do a catch up. Okay, that's a front where France is slamming into like legit double the number of soldiers. But uh, and they are taking more more wounds. The stats are equivalent there. So that didn't work out too well for France. We might start another push here with our own troops, especially as soon as this ends. Which there we go. Victory. Oh, no, it's not another front for us. It's France pushing it. Again, the Mexican battalion counts are crazy here, but they just don't have the troops. There's a bit of back and forth. I wonder, are any of my troops fighting in any of these? No, just the French army here. And what about here? Also just the French army here. So even they haven't borrowed any of our troops for those battles. I don't know why we're not advancing then. Like our troops are set to... They're at the front. They're all set to aggro. Our stats are fine. What are my troops doing? Why aren't we starting a third battle? I mean, there's tons about the um, 
Viviki combat system that I don't understand. <laughs> Just massive amounts. But I would have thought here we'd be we'd be pushing if we're not currently in a fight. So you're gonna push back there. This is gonna go fine. I mean, it, it's easy to look at, like, Mexico being the weak point of the, the Dutch defense here, but they, they did bring a lot of numbers. I think the Dutch army would be overwhelmed if Mexico wasn't here. And we haven't lost a general or anything. No, we're good everywhere. Yeah. I'm actually wondering if I should take one of these groups and send them to one of the other fronts just to pick up some cheap, like, war score somewhere. Since they're not participating in the fight, I want them to fight here, but they're not. That's going to go. They're going to get pushed back here. I, I could send someone to the Windward Coast, although I arguably might be a little concerned about getting um, killed along the way. I wonder if I should be raiding here instead and weakening. Our Navy's pretty small. I had a tiny army. Can I do a quick transfer into a third army and then send them somewhere? Maybe we do that. I go. Let's grab one of these fellers. And then we need to transfer 17 people out of this. So if we do eight and eight. Nope, formation, but are you gonna make a new one? Yeah, create a new formation, good, that's what we want. So that, oh, that's gonna be 16, I need 17 people out of here. So one more infantry. I'll have to double check that the numbers here are still okay. Do that, yeah, too many, yeah, okay. Um, what I should have just done is just recruited someone else, actually. So that they had more capacity. Um, I can quickly recruit something to fix that. Or transfer something back. How's this army? Actually, you have more infantry than you need. So what we're going to do is here. Oh, you have some irregulars. We'll do that. That's going to fix your ratio. Okay. Now. This army. We're going to send to which front are they complaining about? The Windward Coast. So we'll do that. Although, yes, you have Navy over here. Is there any chance that my troops get intercepted? I don't know how that works for here. Seems okay. I'm a little bit more worried about maybe getting supplies to you. Oh, hey, we're finally pushing on a front ourselves. Good. As soon as we move some troops out. But it's definitely working. We're pushing here, generating a lot more casualties versus, uh, well, the Dutch East Indies. Okay, I was going to say versus the Netherlands directly, but no, Dutch East Indies. But still, that's something. Meanwhile, France is losing that front. Although the dead are about the same on both. And we've still taken some of their territory here. I suspect that there's a push going on to the Friesland as like a point of interest. Like we didn't designate it as a strategic objective, but because it's a war goal, it might be implicit. I didn't feel, feel the need to do it because we're going to want to run over all of the Netherlands if we can. And that seems to be going okay. New battle started. Us v. Mexico, just a stomp. France v. Netherlands with, yeah, see, again, they started, France started with fewer divisions or battalions, but they were much better reinforced. The Dutch army doesn't have enough people in its divisions anymore. Oh, automatic glass blowing. That actually might turn out to be quite useful. Are you still on the move? Um, I want to, there we go, go to you. Yeah, you are still on the move. Oh, did you get sent back? He still says you're traveling. You're traveling to front. I, I think you got booped out of the front you were traveling to, but you're traveling to another front over here with the Netherlands. Okay, Mexico has been kicked out. They had no skin in the game, so I think they were quite happy to to bow out. And France is fighting the actual Netherlands, so that's gonna hit that's gonna hit them pretty hard here. Again, we're running negative money, and it's in red because we're running a deficit while not constructing, but that's just because of our wartime expenses, and we've got lots of space for that still. 
Still France going in here. Okay. Yeah, I still, I still don't understand the combat system. I'm actually not one of those people. Some people don't like the Victoria combat system because it is so kind of abstracted, right? You're not micring armies around or anything like that. I, I like it. I think this is just, it, I think this is perfectly fine for the scope and focus of the game, right? The focus of the game is industry and politics. Um, I guess these troops are coming back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, no, there we go. Go to Guyana front, please. Um, oh, over there. Yeah, no, that's fine. Do that. Um, and I'm not saying that it's a perfect combat system. And, you know, if they want to keep iterating it, fine. But I'm happy this isn't a game of like, you know, clicking armies, right clicking a destination, things like that. I think that's perfectly OK to to have one of the Paradox mainline games be kind of abstracted like this. You know, Hoi 4 is its own thing and needs a certain type of thing. CK3, U4, moving armies around is fine, but I don't I'm, I don't always love it. Right. I actually I don't mind it as much in U4, although a lot of times when I'm playing U4, I say, oh, I really wish it had the Imperator automation system for moving things around. And with CK3, I'm mostly like, I kind of wish I had the Stellaris thing where you could right click on an army so that your army would keep following it instead of me having to keep clicking province to province and catch someone who's running away. So in those cases, actually, I could see CK3 could have had an, a military system like this, right? If if the games had been reversed and uh, released in, in, in a reverse order or something like that, or if there's a CK4 planned, um, just I, I suspect they won't because there is a vocal group of players who don't like this. But army management is not a big thing, a big part of CK3. Mostly it's just a one single blob. You're sort of vi right, vaguely right clicking in an area. And maybe it would be fine to set up these battle lines. I don't know. How's France doing in this one? Again, they're doing fine. They did start with more people. Again, fewer, fewer battalions but more overall people. And even though they actually have a lower offense than the target defense, they're doing fine. British Raj friends. All right, that's fine. Momentum for the free trade party, the industrialists. I'm fine with that too. Yeah, so we're going to get the war goal at some point, which because right now they're at their war support floor because we don't control the war goal. But we do all the ooh, New Guinea. Um, is there a shortcut to like go to this state? Where's the search? Eastern New. Probably the Dutch one. Is this one of our war goals? Oh, it looks to me like that's controlled by France. I don't see in the tooltip. But yeah, good. Okay, so they've got their war goal too. Okay, that's looking very good. Okay, nice push there. More oil discovered in Chad. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, just the one battle, but it's going well. Oh man, this, this team up of France is working out beautifully. They definitely deserve that treaty port. Again, we actually might have been fine because we did have higher quality troops. The big problem. They capitulated. Did France get their treaty port? No, because it probably wasn't a primary war goal. France, I feel bad, bro. Yeah, just move to another category, and I'm also realizing that, yeah, you need to upgrade to squad infantry. We weren't even fighting at our best. Damn. Okay. Um, oh, and was the Navy also complaining about things? Yep. Bring you in here, and then we can just promote someone, but we'll just get someone else. That's going to be fine. Split that up, and then Navy... Since we're at peace, are you coming home? No, let me just station station here. Okay, so this is now currently Belgium, whether it wants to be or not. I suspect we're going to need some violent suppression here for a little while. So we're going to do that, I'm decreasing this. Um, wow, what else do we need to do? Well, I guess just shortcut. We can go, where's the state actions? Right here. We'll reset your production modes but we may still have to do a change sort of piecemeal. First of all, you don't have any electricity. Okay, you do have power, I was gonna say power plants, but it's, no, you have power plant. 
So we're going to set you to coal-fired. Oh, now all of a sudden the price of electricity goes down to nothing. That's fine, because most likely we can set some other modes. You have... Basically everyone is working. Oh, transportation is another sore spot. You need more railroad, my dude. Because you're already on these... Uh, we can set you on electric trains, actually. That'll bring the price of transportation still, like, expensive, but more reasonable. It'll also consume more electricity. Um, but yeah, it's quite clear we're going to need some railways here. So... You have a deficit of 76. Adding a railway is going to add 50 transportation. So just one is going to... You'll, you'll still have a slight deficit for transportation, but it won't be crippling. How's your infrastructure? Your infrastructure is fine. Okay. Now I might still need to check... That's for automobiles. Arcades. Yes, it'll consume more electricity, which is fine. Paper mills. You're good. I think I will go piece by piece here. Because the, the average for all of our states isn't necessarily what should apply here. Looks like machine steel tools would be good and quite profitable for this industry. And yeah, you can probably run the assembly lines. We do have more oil now, and you produce oil locally, so you can be you can eagerly go and accept things that consume oil because it'll be quite cheap for you. Bone industry, how's the automobile balance? Yep, looks like we want to switch over here. Um, engines are a little higher than the baseline, but not by much. And the automobile price could definitely go down. And here again, we're going to want assembly line. Yeah, look at that substitution. It's going to free up a lot of workers here too. I think you can be publicly traded. I think that's going to be okay. Textile mills, electric sewing machine should be fine. Yep. Elastics. So you should be fairly profitable. It's going to consume more rubber, but we do have it for now. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do these each one. Houseware plastics, very profitable. Again, consumes oil, but you do produce it locally, so it might be okay. Oh, automatic bottle blowers. Uh, consumes oil, consumes tools. I think we're going to want to set that globally. Hold on. We're going to set everyone to automatic uh, bottle blowers, and I'm going to force this. Even in places where it doesn't currently make sense. Okay, that's fine. Steel mill, electric arc. Okay, this will send the price of electricity higher, but still okay, and we can just build some more power plants. That's going to be okay. Synthetics, rayon. Quite profitable. Yep, that's good. Let's do it. Hang on. Synthetic plant doesn't have, like, a, a baseline production method to choose from. I think this is one of the things that was split off from, like, a chemicals industry or something else. So that's probably why it doesn't have a lot of modes. And more oil. Very profitable. This is going to hire more people, but it is quite profitable despite tanking the price of liquor. But if it's going to make them money, we're going to do it. Assembly lines I definitely want. And we're trying to manage some workers here. That was furniture, explosives. Profitable. Yep, good. Munitions plant. Well, this is always going to have tons of issues. No, I'm going to force that because I do want to lower things because right now the price of um, munitions isn't very high. Arms industry ends up being in the same situation here. It's super cheap right now because we're not at a war. Although I may as well automate you anyway. Military shipyards, you're fine. Okay. Oil rigs, that's great and we're going to build a crap ton more. Um, actually, already this was enough to eliminate our this is expensive oil stuff. Okay. Um, controllers. Definitely that. Okay. Very profitable. Although you don't have any employees right now, but that might change. Refrigerated rail car. We're going to do this as well. Uh, logging camps. Electric sawmills. Sure. We would turn a profit by adding in a little bit of hardwood. So I guess we'll do it. Okay, this rye farm. Yeah, go to chemical fertilizers for sure. Going all the way to apple orchards seems to be the most profitable. We're going to throw in some tractors for you, 100%. See, look how much we're helping the Netherlands. Taking them out of their, their backwards way of life. 
Yeah, electricity price goes up a lot, so we will definitely be building some electrical industry. That was livestock farm, I think I just said now, right? Yeah. Um, barracks, you're on the latest mode. Good. Makes sense. We did equalize things. Uh, things over here should all be okay. Power plant, still hiring, but we are going to need... We're going to want one more for sure. And the railway... How's our deficit now? Um, I was going to say, shouldn't... I expected this to go up, but maybe not. I think I'm still going to queue up a second one, though. Okay, so you should be very profitable. And yeah, some people got fired from the mode changes, but they will probably find other things. Synthetic plants... Synthetic plant isn't profitable. Oh, should I go back down here? I guess maybe with some rebalances. There we go. Maybe that'll help your profit a little. I'm not worried about the munitions, arms, military shipyards. They will be problematic. This textile one I'm a little surprised isn't making money. Let's do that. Oh, I mean, you are paying a lot for electricity. What's our shortage here? 67. It's going to add an extra 100. Yeah, so this, this is going to fix your... Your shortage is easy peasy. Um, can I get a little bit more authority? Oh, in Nejd. Just over here. How do I still need the violent suppression? No, you're fine. And I'm going to cancel the road maintenance as well. Because I'm going to do some road maintenance here to help its production efficiency. I mean, it's still going to be low. Actually, it's only minus 1.5%. That's really good. Now, this... Hey, we fell third. I was going to say, this should solidify our position of third. But no, we actually lost quite a lot of rank here in the meantime. A lot of prestige. I wonder why. Yeah, Russia hasn't gone up at it. It's us losing a bunch. Yeah, I guess our GDP may have temporarily dropped. Look at our literacy. Over 90%. And yeah, wow, wow we need some more universities too. All right. Maybe this will be a good place for some. Actually. Standard of living, middling. You look like you're... Oh, you're secure. I was going to say, I can see your ribs and stuff, but no, you're actually in a pretty good state. Um, Wait, what, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Egypt against France. They just want reparation. Um, no, so this is... Egypt wants to side with them? Oh, as their ally. <sighs> is there anyone else on your side? The Ottomans. Um, and then France has got Italy. No, I know. We're going to have to decline. I know I'm supposed to be your ally. But yeah, no. Okay, money going up, which makes sense. We're not using all of our construction right now. And then Friesland, the next thing you're going to do, I know oil prices aren't that high, but I think we would like to consume more oil with more automation modes. So the plan here is going to be, we're going to build all of the oil rigs we can in Friesland. And then if the oil price goes down, we're just going to be swapping more building modes to consume more and more and more oil. Uh, we could actually use more engines. And yeah, transportation is still quite pricey here. But that's why we are building the railways. Let's try to bring that down. And yeah, with two, I think it's going to actually lead to a slight surplus of transportation. Which certainly won't be a hardship. There you go. Finishing up now. And another. Come on. Go, go. No, I'm not running on speed five, but still speed four is feeling a little slow. There we go. Yep. Very reasonable. And the price of electricity has improved. So all the industries, yeah, everyone's hiring, everyone's in the green. I was going to say, all these industries should be making money hand over fist. Um, service is quite expensive. All right, this generates more transportation. It doesn't actually give us more service. Okay. And then we're going to need more cars. So you have a local motor industry, don't you? You do. 
Oh, which isn't actually fully hired. Okay, we're going to let things shake themselves out in Belgium a little bit. Yeah, everyone's employed, but they might be moving from one industry to another. We did move to, like, as much automation as we possibly could here. I wonder if people are emigrating. No. Traction is high, although no one's moving. Yeah, so I think these oil rigs might have a hard time hiring, or they're just going to steal things from other people. But so be it. So now that oil is more reasonable, what can we do about that? I mean, first of all, we can do we can do meat packing, which consumes a bunch of oil. But this actually just hires more people. It would potentially be like profitable, but wow, this is going to consume a lot more gla glass. See, I want electric sewing machines everywhere. Although this increases employment, really, really. Oh no, okay, I think I wasn't seeing the full picture. It replaces laborers with engineers. And everything on here is on automated, automatic power looms. Okay, here's what I'm going to go. I'm going to check our market, and I'm looking to see... Uh, no, sorry, goods. Is there anywhere that electricity is insanely expensive? Niger Delta is short by 159. It's fairly pricey. And we'll get another 100 from this. Because I think you might be on coal consumption. So yeah, I'm going to all click that. Did I universally... Oh, we did unlock... Yeah, we'll go to sea lane strategies. That's fine. I'm going to put everything on coal. Do I still want to do this piecemeal? Okay. Um... Hmm, that's a good question. Anywhere it's a little higher. Now, this one must be already... Oh, how do I... Yeah, so you're already on coal power. And everywhere else is cheap. Okay, so we're going to do something that will shoot up the price of electricity, and that's going to have to be okay. Furniture manufacturers. I'm going to force this. Continue. Unpause a sec. So now, electricity prices. Maybe? Really? Strange. Okay. Uh, low market access is almost certainly because of infrastructure shortages. First of all, do we see infrastructure in ports? Yeah, we do. Okay. But everywhere that can build a port, their infrastructure is fine. Other than Flanders, which actually has a slight shortage. So here, I'm going to go alt-click, alt-click, alt-click. Uh, Flanders has already got one in the queue, clearly because of this. Um, how much infrastructure is it? 25. Okay. And then this. So this is going to solve all of our infrastructure shortages. Let's do those first. Make sure that's okay. We have a decision. Antarctic expedition. Yeah! Let's do it! Ooh, that is expensive. Alright. I don't really care who goes. Money's still fine. Yeah, finish the railways before the oil rigs, because actually it turns out we're okay with that. We've got nothing being reported as expensive. Wow, taking Friesland was huge for us. Um, you know what? I think we're going to prep for the next stage of war because we might try another crack at something big over here. I'm not going to say the war against the Netherlands was easy. I mean, it turned out to be fairly easy because of allies and different things like that. But it, it wasn't a trivial war, and I don't think we could have just chosen to do it, you know, whenever we wanted willy nilly. But it did work out pretty well. I know they don't have the qualifications, but I'm going to build one uh, electrics company at both places anyway. All right, let's go to speed five. I guess we could put a cut in here again. We could look at some of those political things. We're not going to do homesteading. We haven't actually looked at our own laws in a while. If there's anything we want to change. Um, 
go back to homesteading home insurance no one is one looking for a change proportional taxation would make us tons of money but no one wants it other than the trade unions which we don't really want to empower the trade unions so i think we're just going to have to deal with where we are anything better on the social sides Still no old age, old age pension. Can't go to full multiculturalism. The industrialists wanted wealth voting, but I'm not going to do that. All right. No, I guess we're good where we are. We're running a deficit right now, but it's while we're doing construction. Oh, I just realized we still have our taxes set super high. Although. Our... our Loyalty situation's actually kind of surprisingly okay. But yeah, we actually would suddenly lose a ton of money if we drop taxes. We may have to work on some... Actually, one thing I haven't looked at in ages. There we go. How much taxation capacity do we get from this? 30. So if I go um, 1, 2, 3, it'll mostly eliminate the deficit. 1, 2 will completely eliminate it. 1 over here... Let's build another one in Wallonia as well. And then I guess maybe I'll click one more time in East Hasseland and then it'll completely eliminate that because so we have some taxes that aren't being collected, although there might not be anyone to hire for it, but we'll see. It depends if people move around from jobs, but at least it'll have the potential to resolve that. All right, let's go and put a cut in here and oh, flamethrowers. What is this? Flanders needs a level 5 railway with steel passenger... Are you just telling me... Flanders must just not have a level 5 railway. Because those modes should be on. You have a level 12. Oh, you don't have electric trains! Oh, my dude. Let's do that. I mean, it takes this. So there you go. Completes the Metropolitan Railway. Uh, throughput. Pops become loyalists. I'm gonna do this. The Prestige. Although it's not going to put us above Russia, but our prestige is climbing again, which is good. I think we'll be, I think we'll be okay there to finish third. All right, folks. Thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye.